Morning, Lou, Keitha. We've still got a little less than an hour before the Gateway Mall opens here. We've got about four to five people in line. But yesterday, they only had between this site and the two satellite sites about half as many people as they could have done. They can do of the 3,000 people, which, you know, would fill this whole line. But that didn't happen. They only had a line that stretched almost all the way down to Wind Dixie at the very end before seven o'clock when they closed the doors and then those people were turned away. We need to vaccinate people as quickly as possible. According to a FEMA representative, Gateway Mall's site gave 1,060 vaccinations Wednesday. They can offer up to 2,000 a day. Its satellite sites can vaccinate 500 people every day, but Hammond Senior Center only vaccinated 17 and Normandy Community Center 114. Even teenagers sitting at home with asthma. Lisa Najjar and her three kids each have an autoimmune disease. Where can you go to get the vaccine if you're medically vulnerable? You'll need your doctor to sign a state form and bring it with you to your appointment. You will not be able to get a shot at the state run sites right now because they don't have the designated staff to vaccinate those who are medically vulnerable. You can go either to a federal site, a doctor's office, Office or a pharmacy. Walmart, Publix, and Winn Dixie tell us they're working to get their registration sites up to date with the newest groups by the end of the week. FEMA reps tell us that they are not, not giving out the extra, extra vaccines to the general public once they are finished, but they will have Again, uh, 3,000 between this site and two others available today. I'm Renata DiRogorio, live at Gateway Mall. First Coast News on your side.